Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Keeping Bear, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to solve the Master Kilominx. The Master Kilominx is the 4x4 version of the Mega Minx. So because this puzzle is a 4x4 version of the regular Mega Minx, there are a couple of things you got to learn before you can solve this puzzle. So here are the three that you need to learn. You need to learn how to solve a Mega Minx, um, because this is a 4x4 Mega Minx, and the last stage is solving it like a Mega Minx. You need to learn how to solve a 4x4, and to learn how to solve a 4x4, you need to learn how to solve a 3x3. If you guys know how to solve all three of these, the tutorial will be much easier and much simpler for you to go through, and it'll be a breeze for you to solve this puzzle. But with that being said, because this is a even layered puzzle, I want to go ahead and implore you guys to have a standard Mega Minx on standby so you can know the correct color scheme so that you know which colors go where. Because personally, I don't know where all the colors go, so I do need this Mega Minx here as a reference for the colors. And because we don't want to have parody, and I will be covering parody in this tutorial as well. So if you guys just want to do that, you can uh, go ahead and check out the timestamps in the description and see where the old, the... I think we have OLL and PLL parody. So OLL and PLL parody will be shown in the description or right here, somewhere around the screen. Pretty standard process. It's about how every other big puzzle goes. So let's go ahead and solve for the white side. There's no real instruction to solve the white side. You know, it's pretty standard. Just find pieces, match them up like this. You already see right here. Hmm. Looking around for some white pieces. Here's one right here. And so here's the first thing. So when you want to go ahead and put two of the center pieces in there, instead of doing it with this individual in there, actually combine them together and make a bar so you can just insert it in. So let's look for the other. Here's the white right here. Let's pair them together. So you can see, once we pair them together, we can go ahead and put it down here, slide it right in. And just like that, we have created the first center. We'll make the uh, blue center. So let's go ahead and make some blue pieces. You guys can see I moved some of the white out of the way. That's simple to fix. If you guys do that to insert a center piece, you wanna move it out of the way. So when you move this back up, it doesn't destroy any damage. Here's another one. Awesome, did I move one? Yes, I did, gonna move it out of the way. All right, so now that we're on the last two, we're gonna we're gonna make a bar. So there's one right here, I need to find the other, there's the other right there. We're actually first going to create a bar and then we're gonna insert it in. That way it's much easier. Awesome, I've created the white and the blue. Now I have to go back to my Mega Minx now because I don't know the color scheme. So I have white and blue, just like here, so that the color next to it will be red and then green. So it's, this one will be red, so let's go ahead and do red on this. And just go ahead and insert it in. And because we're inserting something in and we're damaging the white side, we're gonna move it out of the way. That way we can move this back up and not ruin any damage. Here's another one, gonna move it down. Okay, that's going pretty good. So now we're on to last two centers. So let's go ahead and make the bar, make a red bar, and then we can insert it in pretty easily. Insert that in. Perfect. We've created the first trinity. So I think after that was green. Yes, it is. So green is next. So let's go ahead and see. We have a two bar right there. Move that out of the way. Here we have another one. We can insert that in. It's another one right there, but we want to make a bar. So we have to find the other green piece. Here it is right here. Awesome. So you can see I'm going through these pretty quickly and that's just because this is a kind of like a kilominx in the beginning. You know, there's these centers aren't that hard to build. They're like two by twos, mini two by two mega minxes inside. So let's see, the next after green should be purple. So let's go ahead and look for more purple. There's one right there. Let's insert that in, shall we? Awesome. Is there more purple? So we got to make a bar now. Where's the bar? So we've come across a situation where you might encounter sooner is when we have the bar and we want to insert it in. But if we do that, then we get stuff like this happening. Or if we put it in like this, then we're going to damage the white. It's very simple. What you want to do is you want to find a slot that already has a bar. So you can see there's already a bar there and the bars up here. So we're going to insert it in. We're going to move it so that we come to this empty bar slot, this empty part. and We're going to move it up. 
That way it can occupy that space and we can move back our white and none of our damage has been, progress has been damaged. So now we can move on to the last center. This one will require you to keep um, moving stuff out of the way to insert it in. So here we are last, the last, the first sixth center. Move it out of the way, move it back up. So you can see we've made that. Where's another yellow? Another yellow is right here. Put it in, insert it out of the way, move it back up. All right, now we gotta make a yellow bar so we can insert it in. If I can just find one. Hmm, where is it? And guys, we have the bar right here. It wants to go right here. So to move it in, we gotta first replace it with a bar that's already solved, insert it in, go to this side that's empty, and then move it back up. And just like that, we have solved for the first six centers. Now we can move on to the last six centers, which is up here. So sorry for the rest of the thing you guys wanna go ahead and do is you guys wanna go ahead and look at your Mega Minx again. So we can see our Mega Minx right here. Shoot. So we can see our Mega Minx right here. We've completed the first six sides and now let's look at the color scheme. So we have gray on top and we're gonna start off with pink followed by cream and then baby blue. So pink, cream, baby blue. We'll go first. And I can pick pink on any side right now because none of them are defined, but I'll just go ahead and start with this bar. I see there's some right here, so I'm going to go ahead and make a bar. You know, bar building is the best way that you guys can do these things, but uh, let's go ahead and match up these last two together. So we can just insert them easily right there. That was easy right there, guys. You don't really need help for that one, but now what we're going to do is we're going to do cream. So what I like to do when I'm building stuff like this, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and build on the gray side or on any other side. That way it doesn't disrupt none of the work. It's just that whenever I move anything up to the gray side, you got to make sure you move it out of the way and move it down. Because whenever you go up to the gray side, you're always going to move some of the damage that you did before. So you guys can see all I need now are the two cream bars. So I have one right there. And to go ahead and insert a bar, if it's right here on this kind of magnitude, you guys want to move it like this. Move it so it's right here, then insert it all the way until it's right there. Move it until there's that empty side, and then just move it back. And just like that, you've created two more centers. Let's move on to the baby blue. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to build here. Move that out of the way. So now I can insert this and because I damaged this I have to move it out of the way so a lot of the last damage a lot of the last step is to check whether or not you're damaging any of your progress so when you make a move you want to make sure did I move anything and if I do then I got to make sure I can move it out of the way and bring it back so here we are again so here we are again same thing as before when you're down to the last thing you're gonna move it to a spot like this um, I'm going to move it that way, move it to an empty spot, and then move it back. And just like that, we are down to two more centers to go, one more center to go. And the next one after that is orange. So we're going to do orange now. Let's go ahead and look for an orange piece. Okay, there's orange right there. Going to move it right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and insert this in here. So as we have done before, we're going to insert this right in here. So we're going to move it in, move it out of the way to an empty spot, then move it back down. And then we have created the last two centers. And this is this case is actually very easy, but I'm going to go through all the cases you can possibly get. So usually you want to go down to this case where there's just a corner left. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold both layers and do an R U R prime. And what that does is that it gives you a bar. And so with that bar, you can move that gray bar up here, move it down here. And just like that, you've made two, you've created the last two centers. Let's go over some other cases you can get. You might come across a case like this where it's all scrambled and jumbled up and you don't really know what to do. So what you wanna do is you see that we have a green bar here and we have a gray bar here. So what we wanna do is we just wanna move this gray piece over here so it can connect to there. And then we can move this down and then we're down to our corner case, which we know how to do. Just like that. So now that we're done with that, 
So now that we have successfully created all 12 centers, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do edge pairing. This one right here, I need to insert, I need to go ahead and pair these two together because I have a pink and blue and there's a pink and blue up here. So to insert them in, I wanna first put this right here. So to do that, you wanna do an R, U prime, R prime, and that will insert it in there. Now we're gonna slice. You can see we've, we've paired it up and now we're just gonna do an R, U, R prime. Because we moved it out of the way and now we can slice back. And that's basically how you ins how you pair an edge. That's how you pair an edge. Uh, you want to do that with all of the rest of the edges. And when we come down to last two edges, I'll show you how to fix that and how to deal with that. So you might come across a case like this where you have one edge and another edge and everything, all the other edges are solved except for those two. So you're probably wondering, what do we do? What kind of algorithm should I be doing at this point? So what I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you guys do is you're going to slice on over to that way. It's not going to be solved. That's okay. Get a solve piece and you're going to break it apart. So now that it's broken apart, you guys can see that we can insert it right here. And we want to do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and insert it. But and this time what you're going to do is you're going to put the you guys can see this is cream and blue and right here is cream and blue. I'm going to move it so that it's down here at the bottom. So when I slice back, I've went ahead and I solved for all of the paces. And that's how you go ahead and reconstruct your um, edge parity. You want to break apart a solved piece. So you have three, num three. So you have three unsolved pieces. You want to have an odd number of unsolved edges. That way, when you pair them together, you will be able to have them all solved. If you have an even number, that's when you know you have um, edge, edge parity and you got to break apart another one to have an odd number of destroyed layers of destroyed pairs. So that's what you want to have. And that's how you can move on with that. But once we're done with that, um, we can pretty much just solve it like a mega mix. Now it's not that hard anymore. All you have to do now is once you're done with that, go ahead and solve it. By this point in the tutorial, I've already shown you guys how to do um, OLL and PLL parity. All right, so here we have the first parity case right here. You guys can see we have these two edges that need to be swapped. This is the algorithm to do. And there it is. That was the algorithm. I'm also going to put it right here on the screen. But that was if they're adjacent from one another. Now let's go ahead and do what happens if they're opposite of one another or across from one each other like here. Let's do it. All right, then, guys. So here we are on the next step. We have this piece right here and this edge right here that needs to be swapped. And they're not adjacent from one another, but they're across one another. And this is the algorithm you want to use if they're across from one another. And just like that, we have completed the second PLO algorithm. And just like that, you have solved for the killings. So um, yeah, it is done. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Um, it's a pretty easy puzzle to solve. It just takes a while. Um, and it's a really, really fun puzzle. I do like solving on it normally. And I will have an ASMR video coming soon for this puzzle. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And hopefully you guys are able to learn something and able to solve your puzzle. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and off the video there. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. I'll see you on the next video. It's a Kim Brown. Peace out, guys.